is this Planet Asia album worth your listen? Let's find out right after this banging ass intro. What's poppin' is your boy Mike Powers, and this is the album review I have been teasing for a few weeks. That's right, Planet Asia, in conjunction with my man 38 Special, Trust the Chain, is finally here. I have a confession to make as it pertains to Planet Asia. I heard about Planet Asia a while ago, and he's one of those dudes that he didn't get on my radar. I'm ashamed to say that I really wasn't following the dude's movement, because for some reason, I don't know why, I took him as like a conscious backpacker at a time when I really wasn't looking for a brand new conscious his backpacker. Talib Kweli, most deaf, those guys, I was on it. I had been kind of moving away from it just a little bit, on to some other type of shit, and I didn't want to add to that backpack collection. Did not know what was going on with Planet Asia. Heard him on a few cuts recently. He still didn't make my I need to follow this dude list. But what happened was I saw this project come out and it was produced by 38 Special. That caught my attention. Now, 38 is all over the place. Looking at my notes here, this dude got the Cool G Rap Collabo, Flea Lord, Benny, Trust Army, Shade Noir, and a whole bunch of other stuff that I'm forgetting. Tell me what I'm missing down in the comment section. 38 Special is doing so much damage to this industry right now, and he's making a push to make sure he don't gotta go back to the streets. I respect it. So 38 Special being on this thing was the impetus for me picking this up and giving it a listen. And so let's go through what's going on on this Planet Asia album called Trust the Chain. Before we do that, let's go to subscriber shoutouts. Y'all been showing me a lot of love over the past few weeks. I definitely appreciate the support subscriber count is moving up quickly thank y'all for hanging out with me thank y'all for rocking with me so if you don't want to uh, stay around for the subscriber shout outs i'm going to put on the screen where you can fast forward to get right to the review if you don't feel like hearing this but this is for my brand new subs and once again thank all of y'all for clicking and subscribing to this channel we're going to get this thing started off with trotter thomas 27 i see you brian t Thank you for subscribing to the channel, Isa, or is it pronounced Isa? You tell me, but I thank you for joining this family. Eric McGriff, what's popping, my dude? EGI579BHS. That's just the best I could do with that. Thank you for subscribing to this channel. Jerry Green, who is very active in the comment section. My dog, Harlem, New York, is in the building. Jerry Green, what's popping? I see you and the team you got moving out there. Oh, man, before I forget, one of the new subscribers, as I like to call them, family members, and somebody very active in the comments section, Paul Fessional Pals, that's P-A-W, Fessional Pals, sent me some very positive and encouraging wisdom in the comment section. And I have to say that I appreciate that. That's the type of thing that keeps me motivated to wake up, to keep on putting out these videos, these reactions that I can't get paid for. And so hopefully when we move on to doing stiff stuff, that's not demonetized. Y'all will follow me. Professional pal said he in for the long haul and gave me that injection of battery juice pause that I needed to keep this thing going. He reminds me why I do this. I do it for people like professional pals and people like you, the real hip hop heads that can't get this kind of in-depth, authentic, raw, unfiltered information anywhere else. And professional, hit me up on my IG, it's right here in the corner, let's talk, know what I mean? Professional pal, salute. I'm gonna try to run through this real quick cause I ain't trying to waste your time. Yeah, I'm gonna go song by song on this joint. I'm gonna tell you which songs I recommend and then I'll tell you what I think about the entire album. Let's start it off with Body After Body, first track on this album. This is a different kind of beat for 38 Special. It's not as smooth as what you would normally expect from him. It's a a little bit more gritty, a little bit more boom bapish. Planet Asia's voice on here is golden. This dude coming out hard, kicking in windows, putting cats on notice as I've been wont to say. And this is a very proper lead off of this project. This one gonna get a five stars from me. Uh, you gonna be wanting to bump that one. Resurrected Pharaohs, 38 special, staying true to that elevated boom bap sound on here. I really like it. He's showing a little bit of versatility. And then Mussolini comes on, who I'm not very familiar with, but I'm sure y'all will Give me a lesson about homeboy down in the comments. Mussolini came on this thing and did what he was supposed to do. Was it a knock it out the ballpark kind of performance? Nah, but it was definitely sufficient to go toe to toe with a guy like Planet Asia. I appreciate what Mussolini brought to this. Next track up is Mystery School. Mystery School. Oh my 
God, you got that old school R&B type flavor, a, a sped up kind of loop. This shit should be, this should be playing in the background of a heist flick. And it should also be played during a commercial. Bump this, you gonna know what I'm talking about. On my paper, I got five stars right here. And I like the play on words in the chorus when you say, uh, make them trapped to this. For those of you with knowledge, you'll know that that comes from Eric B and Rakim, Eric B is president, make them clap to this. So I thought they pulled that off brilliantly and I really liked it. I again, five stars on my page. And this is the confusion or some might call it the dichotomy of planet Asia. It starts to come to bear on this particular song, Mystery School, because he talk about that street shit. He talk about sticking that pistol in your mouth. He talk about slanging or everything else that he ever did and the cats that he run with out there in the streets. But at the same time, he'll come right back and talk about knowledge yourself. I believe that's some 5% wisdom up in there. And he'll talk about how to bring the black community together and the things that we need to be doing to stay on the positive. So it's the yin and the yang of it. And he's showing the complexity of the persona that lies within him. And I appreciate that from him. It's a super honest artist, I must say, listening to Planet Asia projects. And before I move on to the next song, what I've really been listening to over the past couple days, which is a fucking classic that uh, maybe Somebody told me about it in the comments and I forgot about it. But goddamn, Apollo Brown and Planet Asia Anchovies is a certified classic on the same level of Infamous by Mob Deep, Reasonable Doubt by Jay Z, Ready to Die by Biggie. All of these classic, whatever your classic album list look like, you got to add anchovies to that list. And if you ain't heard it yet, shame on you. Just like shame on me that it took me up until two days ago to hear that joint. But I'm on it now. Better late than never. Let's move on to the next song. God God degree 38 special production on this is absolutely next level and pa is out here spitting the wisdom helping to raise the babies again that dichotomy comes to the forefront and i'm loving it another five stars on my page this album is turning out to be pretty fucking banging now let's talk about the dichotomy of 38 special my life is complicated i'm not just one kind of dude and neither are you your life is complicated and so we all strive for peace and that's what we promote over here i know you do too but given the correct situation you might turn into let's hope that never happens but given dire circumstances each one of us might resort to something that normally wouldn't be in our dna and that's just the truth about human existence it's the truth about living in an urban area in america it's the truth about growing up in poverty and he displays all of this across this album and across his whole entire body of work so when people try to criticize rap by saying it's only about guns and drugs and bitches there's no nothing positive going on it's bullshit people are complicated creatures and we are the entire spectrum of good to evil we all are pa puts that forward front and center on this project he's a complicated man passport player that's the next cut on this album strong ass pianos with the bass bumping on here and i hate to lead off a review of every single song on this album by talking about the music because i really like to focus on the lyrics even though the music is very important but special is just doing such a <laughs> doing such an incredible job with this project so far you got to mention what the soundscape is and let me ask you all a question because i know that y'all know i could probably google this but i enjoy having that conversation with y'all when you bring me the knowledge is planet asia part of trust gang right now because on a few cuts i keep hearing him make reference to trust gang like he really a part of that shit so let me know if he's part of trust gang the chorus on here is mad crazy man you gonna have to bump this out of your windows very loud hey you i'm talking to you listen bump this song very loud from your whip don't say i didn't tell you what's the name of the song passport player next song is called snake charmer when i first saw the title i thought he was talking about jay-z on this one i'll give y'all time to catch up on that one all i can say about this is the lyrics is fire listen to that motherfucker next song is called learn from the ogs this one got fred the godson on it you already know what planet asia do the dude is sick but fred the godson the jury is still out on whether or not i'm feeling this dude his voice i kind of like his lyrics i kind of like but he keep missing the mark when it comes to punchlines for me you gotta deliver on the fucking punchlines el camino showed up on this motherfucker out of nowhere and rode the beat like a fucking horse el camino is on and off for me sometimes some cuts i like from him some songs i hate he's still coming into his own much props to el camino but this is a pretty good track as well tech and a mink i was thinking did he get that title from tech and a mac i don't know which came first the chicken or the fucking egg the name of this song is called tech to a mink verse first sound like 38 special wrote it listen to the verse the cadence 
cadence. It sounds exactly like 38 Special's cadence. I'm not saying Special wrote it for him. If he did, I wouldn't give a fuck. I know what Planet Asia's pen game is like, so I'm not trying to call him to the carpet for that, but just listen to that first verse and let me know if that sound like 38 wrote it or cuss me out. PA is kicking knowledge on this one. And what I really appreciate, not just from Planet Asia, but from all these guys that's bringing back this nice East Coast sound, even though Planet Asia's from the West Coast, this is an East Coast sound that he's on. I appreciate these dudes being over 30 and bringing us the real grown man hip hop because there's this thought in hip hop. Some of these youngins want us to kind of go the fuck away, that our time is past, that no, we still leading, we still teaching, we still contributing, and the masters of the art form is still out here giving y'all what my girl like to call the vegetables. My girl say, listen, you got to have your vegetables too. So you can have a cheeseburger, french fries, but this shit right here is the vegetable. Grown man shit, thinking man's hip hop. You raising your kids, paying your mortgage type of hip hop. Entertaining as fuck too. Next song is called Juggernauts. And the first thing I thought when I heard this song come on is how many beats does 38 Special have? God damn, this dude is on the level of Alchemist, Derringer, No ID. Now I know he don't got the longevity in the spotlight of these producers, but the level of work that he's putting out is absolutely on par with the best street producers in the game. The song is five stars. What you want me to say? The last song of this 10 song project is called Winter Time. The beat again is crazy. PA's conversation is immaculate on this. I say PA, Planet Asia. Y'all know what I'm talking about. Planet Asia's conversation is immaculate on this cut. He having a conversation with you. Believe me, it's a real conversation. And so after listening to this Planet Asia album, Trust the Chain, 38 Special on the Boards, was my opinion, what's my recommendation? It's a fucking classic. He don't get enough respect. I haven't been giving him enough respect. I should get taken to the fucking woodshed. Anchovies with Apollo Brown, classic. Trust the Chain with 38 Special, classic. Go get this on your phone or whatever listening device you choose to use. Do that shit right now. If you say you like real hip hop, go listen to this album right now. Other than that, I'm Mike Powers. I'm out.